Christ does not deliver junk mail. Christ does not deliver what's unworkable and what's not needed. Christ is the frequency, is that oneness of knowingness, that oneness with God itself that already knows. And you access that frequency through the purity of your desire, that love. Extend light to another. You don't have to have a single idea, thank God. Merely desire what frequency would I most desire as Christ to send to the heart of this beautiful being. And it will be right there. And it may suddenly be the power of a will to step forward and complete their task. Breathe it into your being. Radiate it into the subtle matrix of their being. And it will suffice their nucleus. Now is the time to start sneaking in the back door. The only question remains, will you allow this great turning to complete itself in you? Some of you are thinking, didn't he already ask us that before? Those of you that know us well, you probably have learned that if we repeat ourselves, there might, might be a reason. Beloved friends, long has been the journey, yet only the twinkling of an eye. From this day and hour, let it be known deep in your being to whomever you want to share it with that that which has been known has, as the journey. What journey can that be? Germain is germane to the process of healing, though I have never allowed myself to call him saint. I have known him for a long time. He's no saint after. <laughs> There's far too much of a mischievous twinkle in the eyes of his heart to ever call him a saint. He's far beyond any such categorization. Categorization. On the other hand, he's never called me the savior of the world. He's known me way too long. We are brothers and friends. We are in perfect communion and communication, always in the great frequency of what I have used in this pathway to call friendship. A friend is one who deliberately gives the whole of their being to see in you only as the light of Christ itself and holds you in that frequency for all eternity. That is the meaning of friend. Our friendship is quite profound, and because we hold each other in that light, because we have joined in friendship in that light, we create ceaselessly together in many dimensions beyond this one. Yet what we create there is the same as what we create here. Context, teachings, opportunities, frequencies that invite the sleeping to awaken. This is a great delight. It is our great delight because you are our great love. Tonight, it's time to give up thinking that you still have a journey or distance to travel to join us. It's time to recognize that this is the night, the day, the hour, the moment in which you've asked us to come and let you know to deliver the telegram and ask you to open it. It was written by your own hand. Now is the time upon the earth that has been prayed for and waited for and worked for, and you have been a profound participant in the necessary work of entering into the matrix of separation, that you would know it inside and out. For many will be sent to you, and from this day and hour, regardless of what they think, regardless of what they say, regardless of their defense mechanisms, look them in the eyes as you radiate the frequency you want to them to, you want to them, and tell them the truth. Brother and sister, you are the one worthy of all the love of God right here and right now. And I am here because I love you. And in your voice, they will know that it is true only because you have entered into the dream of separation. You have taken it on and felt it all. And thus you speak with the authority of one who knows. Isn't that what you've always liked about us? Germain knew the depths of separation. He knows what those frequencies are all about. He knows what the frequencies are going to what frequencies are going to heal that and then extend that which heals that. 
I picked up a few things along the way myself in that matter of understanding the dreams of separations, temptations, fear, loss, throw in a little persecution now and then. Now it's your turn. Rest assured, I say this unto you, as I said this to my beloved brother many years ago, there will be no such persecution this time. The world is tired of it. You are not going to be sent into the bowels of hell. Now, the other part of the message that we would share with you in this hour is given to those of you who have chosen incarnation in the feminine form. Lead, lead. We have shared this before, but it is important to do so again. It is vital in this turning of the age that women truly and fully lead by stepping fully into the power of the wisdom they have always carried. Woman is the great carrier of oneness with nature, with the earth. Woman is the very carrier of feeling. And it has been, shall we say, hidden, very suppressed, even hated, jealousy, desired, and far too many have still been living in a frequency of fear. Far too many women are still holding on to the great gifts of being woman who can hide her light and pretend to be weak so somebody else can do it. It is time for women, women, beautiful, precious women. You've always been carriers of the truth. You have always been the field of the soul that doesn't entirely lose remembrance of love. It is time. It is absolutely essential that the women lead. Rest assured, there is a growing numbers of what you call men who are just waiting for women to lead. It is essential that women lead in this dimension and, and world because it's hard for a lot of people on your planet to trust men. I say this simply, but there is a great depth to it. Women who are in this room tonight, you are not weak and you are not small. As you step into that light, into that frequency giving we are talking about with you tonight, you are going to find that men change their attitude toward you. They are going to want to support you. They are going to want, and they will be encouraged and inspired to serve you. You may wish to teach them how to cook first. Laughter. Do you ever wonder, those of you who have paid some attention to my last incarnation, and by last I don't just mean my last one and there's going to be another one, I mean my last one, have you not ever been curious that in the end, when all had been betrayed, all had betrayed me and left me, those are your words, that it was the women who did not depart? that which is called the Three Marys, knew perfectly well the role of women, the great strength and power and the necessity of the feminine current that allows the masculine to flower and fulfill its specific task. It is time, precious women, to acknowledge that you do know. It is time, precious women, to no longer tolerate an ounce of smallness in your men. Help them inspire them, let them know that you are there with them. Encourage them to go forth to fulfill the role they've been given. Build the cosmic bridge. Write the book. Do whatever it is. No more what you call here the couch potatoing. Men, the men of this room, do you not seek or long to the inspiration of the strength of woman? Every man in this room has been crying out and longing for women to come and say, We know who you are. Step forward. We're with you. And when you don't step forward, we won't be with you. So again, men, is this not true? Women from the audience, help them, inspire them, encourage them, and what? Support them. Support them and let them know what the feeling of your presence, that you're no longer willing to settle for less. No longer let the men in your life settle for being less than the men that God would ask them to be. And rest assured that I was once a man. Well, sometimes my mother wasn't so sure that I was such a man. 
I know what it means as a man to recognize the great need of the feminine frequency in its strength to emanate inspiration, heart, soul, to activate the principle within the male that gets active so that it can go out and fulfill its task. When I was, oh, about 21 years of age and was being sent to many different teachers, yes, I was sent to some male teachers, but that was all preparation. My principal teachers were female. In Egypt, what you call as the Palestine, in Persia, and in India, my principal teachers were women. And it is not by accident that when it was time for me to fulfill the role I had been given to demonstrate the unreality of death, the power of forgiveness and love, in the worst possible conditions, so rest assured the worst has already happened, it was not by accident that one was sent to me in my Terra who fulfilled exactly this role. I think most of you know whom I am talking about. There's a soul. There is a soul of such extraordinary power. The power that comes from a love that is unshakable, eternal, vast in its vision, its truth, its patience, its love. There's never been a moment I have ceased in what you might call bowing down before my great friend, love, lover, Mary Magdalene. And yes, it is quite true, there could not have been a completion of what I brought forth to completion in that incarnation without her equal participation and presence.